Sorry. Oh, yo, what's up? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, man? Hey, Ruch Hashem, man. Yeah, man. Ever Hashem, man. That's all I need. Ever Hashem, man. Let's get it. Yeah, let's do it, man. I love the mentality. I love the mentality. Yo, Yehoshaphat, you think uh, this is like a time for repentance in the world? I totally agree there's a time for repentance, for sure. Mm -hmm. It's like a time-sensitive window. I think there's yeah. a time for repentance. And I, and I, I do think uh, in the time when the Mashiach comes, there's going to be a time for repentance at that point in time for, for the world. Yeah, well, we're already in those times of Mashiach, you know? And this is an amazing opportunity that we have. The whole world is, like, getting, getting... Like it's kind of like making it smaller. Everyone's chilling. Everyone's focusing on what's important and uh, reflecting. And this could be a big opportunity for uh, for people to grow uh, in their own path in their own way. One hundred percent agree. One hundred percent agree. I think this time right now, for the guys who are like searching for Torah, like the Torah scholars that we are, we are just sharpening up our tools right now. You know, for the ones who need help, because eventually this. This, I think this situation is going to force people to realize there's more to, there's more to life than like the glamour, the cars, and all these things that they be striving for because they can't use any of that stuff now. Right. They can't use anything, and everything is not useful, not useful. Corona is cutting through the klipas and showing us what's right. really there. Um, the the klipas, the uh, the shells, the things that people used to think were important, right? Uh, money, cars, influence, uh, even love, everything that a person's going for, that they think they're going for. In the end, they realize that it's just simcha v'tov levav. Um, so well, Aris, yeah, uh, it's, it's, well, so simcha means happiness. But tov levav was a word that really wasn't translated for a long time. Like no one really knew what it was. It means good heartedness. Tov levav, good heart or good spirit. And um, this word, actually, this is the precursor for the idea, for the Aristotelian idea of eudaimonia, which is, uh, which, which is where we're talking about that after all of those things that a person's going for, in the middle, at the end, what he's going for is that like eu, from like euphoria, and deomon, which is like from the English word spirit, means good spirit. This Aristotelian idea of eudaimonia was presaged by the Torah as a condition for doing the mitzvot. It says, um, Since you didn't do, like, we weren't doing a vote Hashem in happiness and with the goodness of heart with this eudaimonia, and they got, they got dispersed and got sent out to Galus. They went into exile because they were missing the Are you trying to say that a prerequisite for fulfilling the commandments is having joy? It seems like that from the Pasuk. From the that verse, since, verse is that? This is a verse in um, in Parsha's Kitavo El Haaretz by the Tochacha, by the rebuke. It talks about it talks about um, that since they weren't besimcha, since the Jews didn't do Avodah um, Hashem besimcha, Ubitov Levav, and with this idea of this idea of super chill, this idea of just feeling good, you know, like they weren't feeling good with the Torah mitzvahs, so they weren't they didn't fulfill it according to the pasuk. They weren't they weren't yotze the mitzvah. They didn't fulfill their commandments because they didn't have joy. Happiness is part and parcel of the commandment. Each commandment, it has its it ha it has its dinim, it has its rules, and simcha. Is, uh, is, a, is a condition for fulfilling the mitzvah. And we get so, in day-to-day -day life, we get so out, like, shaken up, you know? You're right. Say, I, was, I, was, I was reading, they say, they say a righteous man, if he doesn't have simcha, then how, 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 can, you, how can you tell if he's a zonic if he don't have, doesn't have simcha, simcha? Because simcha is like the, is like the, uh, um, it's like the, characteristic, the mitos of Hashem is to be happy. 
And if you're serving Hashem at a high level, you should always have simcha, you know, you should always have joy. Uh, yeah. I, I thought that was a, a good point. Yeah, it's amazing, yo. And like getting to this joy, this is, is a, could be a revolution that the world is waiting for. 